Chapter 1. Your License to Drive Who may drive a motor vehicle in Texas? Individuals who meet the following criteria may drive a motor vehicle in Texas. Residents Texas residents who have a valid Texas driver license. New Texas residents who are properly licensed have 90 days, after entry into Texas, to secure a Texas driver license. Any person, while driving or operating any road machine, farm tractor, or implement of husbandry temporarily operated or moved on a highway is exempt from having a Texas license, unless the vehicle is a commercial motor vehicle. Non-residents Any non-resident who is at least 16 years of age and possesses a valid driver license issued in the non-resident's home state or Canadian province Non-residents at least 16 years of age who meet these criteria may drive a vehicle permitted to be operated with a Class C or Class M driver license in Texas. Non-residents who are at least 18 years of age may drive any vehicle in Texas if they are legally licensed to drive such a vehicle in their home state or country, and the home state or country grants like recognition, reciprocity, to citizens of Texas. Military The driver of an official U.S. or state military service motor vehicle may drive a vehicle without a valid Texas driver license, unless the vehicle is a commercial motor vehicle. A non-resident on active duty in the U.S. Armed Forces, the member's spouse, or dependent child who has a valid license issued by his, her home state. Any person on active military duty who holds a valid driver license issued by the U.S. Armed Forces in a foreign country may drive a motor vehicle in Texas for 90 days from the date of their return to the U.S. Unless a license is suspended, cancelled, revoked or denied, a Texas driver license held by any person who enters or who is in the U.S. Armed Forces will remain valid as long as the service continues, and person remains absent from Texas and the absence does not exceed 90 days from the date the licensee is honorably separated from service or returns to Texas. Types of Texas Driver Licenses Learner License, Instruction Permit A learner license, also known as an instruction permit, allows a student driver to legally practice driving when accompanied by a licensed driver. The licensed driver must be at least 21 years of age with at least one year of driving experience, must occupy the seat beside the driver, and cannot be intoxicated, asleep, or engaging in any activity that prevents observation and response to the actions of the driver. A learner license will indicate learner license on the front of the card and expire on the minor's 18th birthday. A person applying for a learner license must 1. Be at least 15 but no more than 18 years of age. 2. Complete the classroom portion of a driver education course, vision exam, and knowledge exam. 3. Meet all other requirements for a first-time driver license, original, applicant. 4. Pay a fee of $15 for license plus $1 administrative fee. For applicants less than 18 years of age the license expires on their 18th birthday. Applicants 18 years of age and older who wish to legally practice driving are issued a Class C license with the same restrictions as a learner license. The license is generally valid for 6 years and costs $24 plus a $1 administrative fee. Verification of Enrollment and Attendance VO, form If you are under 18 years of age and applying for your first Texas driver license, learner license, or provisional license, you must provide evidence that you 1. have obtained a high school diploma or its equivalent, or 2. are a student enrolled in a public, private, or home school and attended school for at least 80 days in the fall or spring semester preceding the date of application, or 3. have been enrolled for at least 45 days and are enrolled at the time of application in a program to prepare individuals to pass the high school equivalency exam. This information is included on the Verification of Enrollment and Attendance VO form issued by your school. Ask school officials to complete and sign the VO form. The VO may not be dated more than 30 days before the date of application for a license during the school year or more than 90 days during the summer. The VO must be presented to the Driver License Customer Service Representative CSR, when applying for, renewing, or removing permit restrictions from a license. Hardship License a hardship license previously known as Minor Restricted Driver License or MRDL may be issued to a minor who establishes the necessity to drive and may have restrictions based on the qualifying hardship. 
An application for a hardship license DL77, must be executed by an authorized adult on behalf of the minor. Both the adult and the minor must sign the form and present it in person at the driver license office. Only a parent, guardian, or person having custody of a minor may make application on behalf of a minor. If the minor does not have a parent, guardian, or custodian then an employer or county judge may apply on behalf of the minor. A person applying for a hardship license must 1. Be at least 15 years of age but not more than 18. 2. Complete and pass a driver education course. A driver education course includes both the classroom and behind the wheel phase, vision, knowledge, and driving exams. 3. Meet all other requirements for a first time driver license original applicant. For more information, please visit our website, www.dps.texas.gov slash driverlicense slash teendriver.htm. DPS may require supporting documentation or conduct an investigation to confirm the information provided on the application. DPS will issue a hardship license if it is determined that 1. Failure to issue the hardship license will result in an unusual economic hardship for the family of the minor applicant. 2. The hardship license is necessary due to an illness, disability, or death of a family member. 3. The hardship license is necessary because the minor applicant is enrolled in a vocational education program that requires a license for participation. 4. A court order requiring issuance of the hardship license is presented. Graduated Driver License GDL. Teenagers and young adults have the highest crash rates of all drivers, and motor vehicle crashes are the leading cause of death for U.S. teens. Young drivers make up 6.5% of the driving population but are responsible for 13% of fatal crashes. The Graduated Driver License GDL, program eases teens into the driving experience by phasing in driving privileges and minimizing exposure to high-risk situations. The GDL program applies to driver license applicants under 18 years of age and has contributed to a decrease in fatal crashes in recent years. As a part of this program, all new driver license applicants are required to pass a driving exam conducted at a driver license office or authorized testing facility. The GDL program consists of two phases. Phase 1 applies to learner licenses. Phase 2 applies to provisional licenses. All drivers less than 18 years of age must meet the licensing requirements for a learner license or provisional license, but they are also subject to additional requirements, including driver education and the GDL program. Phase 1. This phase requires applicants under 18 years of age to hold a valid learner, hardship, or combination of learner and hardship license for a minimum of six months prior to the issuance of a provisional license. If your license is suspended during Phase 1, then the initial six-month period is extended by the number of days of the suspension because your license is invalid during the suspension period. A Texas learner license will be issued to new Texas residents who are at least 15 years of age, present an out-of-state instruction permit, and submit a VO form. A Texas learner license must be held for six months from the date of issuance before the individual is eligible for Phase 2. Phase 1 requirements do not apply to Class M motorcycle licenses. Under the GDL program, there is no minimum time a person must hold a restricted motorcycle or moped license before applying for a Class M license. Phase 2. Phase 2 restricts the driving privileges of individuals until their 18th birthday following the issuance of a provisional license. During Phase 2 these individuals may not drive a motor vehicle. 1. With more than one passenger in the vehicle under the age of 21 who is not a family member. 2. Between midnight and 5 a.m. unless the operation of the vehicle is necessary for the driver to work, to attend or participate in a school-related activity, or due to a medical emergency. All drivers who are under 18 years of age are restricted from using a wireless communication device, including a hands-free device, except in case of an emergency. Provisional License a provisional license is a driver license issued to persons 16 to 18 years of age that has the Phase 2 GDL driving restrictions applied. The license will be marked provisional and expire on the license holder's 18th birthday. A person applying for a provisional license must 1. Be at least 16 but not more than 18 years of age. 
2. Complete and pass a driver education course. A driver education course includes both the classroom and behind the wheel phases, vision, and driving exams. 3. Have held a valid learner, hardship, or combination of learner and hardship license for at least 6 months. 4. Meet all other requirements for a renewal driver license applicant. Out of state license holders. Applicants who are at least 15 but less than 18 years of age and present a valid out-of-state instruction permit will be issued a Phase 1 learner license. Applicants who are at least 16 but less than 18 years of age and present a valid out-of-state driver license will be issued a Phase 2 provisional license with passenger and time restrictions after successful completion of the driving exam. Applicants must meet all other requirements for a first-time, original, applicant. All licenses issued to persons less than 21 years of age will be marked under 21. Classes of driver licenses Class A, B, C, and M driver licenses are issued to individuals who are exempt or not required to obtain a commercial driver license CDL. Most non-commercial driver licenses issued to persons 18 years of age and older are valid for 6 years and cost $24. A $1 administrative fee will be added to in-person or online transactions. Some applicants receive licenses with shorter terms due to restrictions including, but not limited to, verification of lawful presence, sex offender registration registration requirements, or being 85 years of age or older. Individuals who operate any of the following vehicles are exempt from obtaining a CDL but may need a Class A or Class B non-commercial driver license because the type of vehicle driven still meets the definition of a commercial motor vehicle. For more information on commercial motor vehicles and requirements for a CDL, please visit our website, http colon slash slash www.txdps.state.tx.us slash driver license slash commercial license dot htm or see the Texas Commercial Motor Vehicle Drivers Handbook. You may download the handbook online at http colon slash slash www.dps.texas.gov slash internetforms slash forms slash dl dash 7 cpdf 1. A firefighting or emergency vehicle necessary for the preservation of life or property or the execution of emergency governmental functions whether operated by an employee of a political subdivision or by a volunteer firefighter. 2. A military vehicle or a commercial motor vehicle when operated for military purposes by military personnel, members of the reserves and National Guard on active duty including personnel on full-time National Guard duty, personnel on part-time training, and National Guard military technicians. 3. A recreational vehicle driven for personal use. 4. A vehicle that is owned, leased, or controlled by an air carrier, and is driven or operated exclusively by an employee of the air carrier only on the premises of an airport, on service roads to which the public does not have access. 5. A vehicle used exclusively to transport seed cotton modules or cotton burrs. 6. A vehicle controlled and operated by a farmer. Used to transport agricultural products, farm machinery, or farm supplies to or from a farm not used in the operation of a common or contract motor carrier, or used within 150 miles of the person's farm. Class A Driver License A Class A Driver License permits a person to drive 1. Any vehicle or combination of vehicles described under a Class B or Class C driver license, and 2. A vehicle or combination of vehicles with a gross combination weight rating GCWR, of 26,001 pounds or more, provided the gross vehicle weight rating GVWR, of the vehicles towed is in excess of 10,000 pounds. A class A driver license does not permit a person to drive a motorcycle or moped. Table 2. Class A driver license minimum age 18 or older applicants 18 to 24 are required to successfully complete an approved driver education course fee $24 for license plus $1 fee equals $25 expiration 6 years minimum age 17 with completion of an approved driver education course fee $15 for license plus $1 fee equals $16 expiration on applicants next birthday Class B driver license. The Class B driver license permits a person to drive. 1. Any vehicle included in Class C. 
2, a single vehicle with a gross vehicle weight rating GVWR, of 26,001 pounds or more and any such vehicle towing either a vehicle with a GVWR that does not exceed 10,000 pounds or a farm trailer with a GVWR that does not exceed 20,000 pounds, and a Class B driver license does not permit a person to drive a motorcycle or moped. Table 3, Class B driver license Minimum age, 18 or older, applicants 18 to 24 are required to successfully complete an approved driver education course, fee, $24 for license plus $1 fee equals $25, expiration, 6 years. Minimum age, 17 with completion of an approved driver education course, fee, $15 for license plus $1 fee equals $16, expiration on applicant's next birthday. Class C driver license. 1. A single vehicle or combination of vehicles that are not included in Class A or Class B and 2. A single vehicle with a gross vehicle weight rating, GVWR, of less than 26,001 pounds, towing a trailer not to exceed 10,000 pounds, GVWR or a farm trailer with a GVWR that does not exceed 20,000 pounds. 3. An auto cycle, defined as a motor vehicle, other than a tractor, that is designed to not have more than three wheels on the ground when moving, equipped with a steering wheel, equipped with seats that do not require the operator to straddle or sit astride the seat, manufactured and certified to comply with federal safety requirements for a motorcycle a Class C driver license does not permit a person to drive a motorcycle or moped. Table 4, Class C Driver License Minimum age, 18 or older, applicants 18 to 24 are required to successfully complete an approved driver education course, fee, $24 for license plus $1 fee equals $25, expiration, 6 years. Minimum age, 16 with completion of an approved driver education course, fee, $15 for license plus $1 fee equals $16, expiration on applicant's 18th birthday minimum age 15 with the approval of a hardship license fee five dollars for license plus one dollar fee equals six dollars expiration on applicant's next birthday class m driver license the class m driver license permits a person to drive a motorcycle or moped before applying for a class m license you must pass a motorcycle operator training course approved by dps motorcycle training course providers require drivers who are less than 18 years of age to present proof of completion of the classroom phase of a driver education course hold a learner license issued after completing the classroom phase of a driver education course or hold a valid class c license prior to enrolling in a motorcycle operator training course minimum age motorcycle 16 with completion of the classroom phase of a driver education course 32 hours and a dps approved motorcycle operator training course 16 hours moped 15 years of age with completion of the classroom phase of a driver education course 32 hours and a dps approved motorcycle operator training course 16 hours motor driven cycle of 250 cc or less 15 years of age with DPS approval for a hardship driver license or completion of the classroom phase of a driver education course, 32 hours, and a DPS approved motorcycle operator training course, 16 hours. For more information on Class M driver licenses, please visit our website, http colon slash slash www.dps.texas.gov slash driver license slash motorcycle license dot htm or see the motorcycle operator's manual. You may download the manual online at http colon slash slash www.dps.texas.gov slash internet forms slash forms slash dl dash eight dot pdf. Table 5. Class M Driver License Type, 18 and older. Amount, $24 for license plus $1 administrative fee equals $25. Expiration, 6 years. Type, under 18. Amount, $15 for license plus $1 administrative fee equals $16. Expiration, on applicant's 18th birthday. Type, add M amount, add M to current license requires a $15 exam fee plus $1 administrative fee equals $16, expiration, expires with license.
type renewal amount an additional $8 is required when renewing a Class M license plus $1 administrative fee equals $9. Expiration expires with license. Fees and driver licenses for veterans. Veterans who are honorably discharged and receive compensation for a service-related disability of at least 60% are exempt from paying driver license and ID card fees. Individuals applying for a CDL or who are required to register as a sex offender are not eligible for this fee exemption. The veteran must meet all other licensing requirements. Veterans Designation on Driver License DPS offers a veteran designation on the face of the driver license and identification card, ID, for qualifying veterans. For more information on the veteran designation, visit our website at www.dps.texas.gov slash driverlicense slash vetservices.htm. Identification, ID, cards. In addition to driver licenses, DPS issues ID cards with a photograph of the applicant. ID cards have a distinguishing number similar to a driver license and are maintained in the driver record file. ID cards are displayed in a vertical format for individuals who are less than 21 years of age and are horizontal for individuals who are 21 years of age and over. Applicants must provide documents in accordance with DPS ID card policy requirements. For a list of acceptable documents to obtain an ID card, visit our website, http colon slash slash www.dps.texas.gov slash driver license slash apply for it.htm table 6 identification id cards minimum age id cards can be issued to any person of any age anyone under the age of 21 will have under 21 printed on the card fee $15 card plus $1 fee equals $16 59 or younger or if you are 60 or older $5 card plus $1 fee equals $6. Expiration 6 years. Medical and emergency information. On the reverse side of the card, state law requires DPS to print the statement directive to physician has been filed at telephone. Hash and emergency contact number. Space is provided on the surface for the license holder to write a telephone number and a box to the left of the statement to indicate why the telephone number is provided. Space is also provided on the back of the card to allow individuals to voluntarily list health conditions which may impede communication with a peace officer. Additionally, an application for an original, renewal or replacement driver license or ID includes the option to provide the name, address and telephone number of two individuals who may be contacted in the event of injury or death of the applicant. Allergic reaction to drugs DPS does not print medical information on driver licenses or ID cards. To add medical information to the back of your driver license or ID card, use a permanent ink pen and write the following information. 1. Name of your physician. 2. Emergency contact number. 3. Name of medication that may cause an allergic reaction. Organ donation. DPS offers Donate Life Texas pamphlets to any person who visits a driver license office. The pamphlets provide general information on the Donate Life Texas program. If you choose to be an organ donor, a small red heart with the word donor will be printed in the lower right corner on the front of the card. Cards that indicate a person's wish to be a donor shall be conclusive evidence of a decedent's status as a donor and serve as consent for organ, tissue, and eye donation. You can register to be an organ, tissue, and eye donor online at www.donatelifetexas.org. Voluntary Contributions If you are applying for an original or renewal driver license or ID card, you can voluntarily make a monetary contribution to the following programs. 1. The Blindness Education, Screening, and Treatment Program administered by the Texas Commission for the Blind, which provides screening and treatment for those individuals who are without adequate medical coverage. 2. The Glenda Dawson Donate Life Texas Program, which manages the donor registry and statewide donor education projects. 3. The Veterans Assistance Fund, which provides grants to local government and nonprofit organizations to enhance or improve veteran assistance programs that address the needs of veterans and their families. How to obtain a Texas driver license. If you are applying for a Texas driver license, you must comply with the following procedures. Applying for a Texas driver license. 
An application for a driver license must be made in person. You can obtain an application at any driver license office or download an application from our website at www.dps.texas.gov slash driver license slash apply for license dot htm. All in-office applicants are provided an opportunity to complete a voter registration application. All men 18 to 25 years of age who are U.S. citizens or immigrants are automatically registered for selective service upon issuance of an ID card or driver license. Required documents and application information. To apply for a Texas driver license, you must provide the following documents and information. 1. Your full name, proof of residential address, mailing address, current county of residence, place of birth, and date of birth. 2. Identification documents. 3. Social security card or other acceptable evidence of a social security number. 4. Thumb or index fingerprints. 5. Physical description. 6. Answer the medical status and history questions listed on the application. Individuals with certain medical limitations may have their cases reviewed by the Medical Advisory Board, MAB, before the license is issued. 7. Surrender any valid out-of-state driver license. 8. U.S. Citizenship status or lawful presence. For additional information and lists of acceptable documents, visit our website, www.dps.texas.gov slash driver license slash apply for license dot htm. Driver record. A complete record of all your examinations will be recorded on your application and scanned into the driver license system where it becomes a part of your permanent driving record. Any convictions for moving traffic violations or crashes, including out-of-state records of convictions, will be recorded as part of your permanent driving record. To find out more information on driver records and how to obtain a copy of your record, visit http colon slash slash www.dps.texas.gov slash driver license slash driver records dot htm evidence of financial responsibility vehicle insurance when applying for an original driver license you must provide evidence of financial responsibility or a statement that you do not own a motor vehicle that requires the maintenance of financial responsibility Evidence of financial responsibility must meet at least the minimum amount required by Texas and cover each motor vehicle the applicant owns that requires maintenance of financial responsibility. Vehicle Registration When surrendering an out-of-state driver license, a new Texas resident must submit, with a driver license application, evidence that each motor vehicle owned by the person is currently registered in Texas, or indicate they do not own a motor vehicle required to be registered. A registration receipt issued by the county tax assessor collector of the county in which the new resident resides is satisfactory evidence that your motor vehicle has been registered in Texas. Fees The required fees must be submitted before any exams will be given for an original Texas driver license. An additional $1 administrative fee is included in most transactions. However, if you are completing multiple transactions at the same time, either in person or online, you will only be charged the $1 administrative fee once. A $1 administrative fee is not charged for transactions made through the mail. For more information on all fees, refer to Appendix D of this handbook or visit our website, http colon slash slash www.txdps.state.tx.us slash driver license slash fees dot htm. Driver Education Individuals less than 25 years of age are required to successfully complete an approved driver education course. For more information on licensing requirements for applicants less than 25 years of age, visit our website at www.dps.texas.gov slash driver license slash apply for license dot htm. Impact Texas Teen Drivers ITTD. Beginning September 1, 2015. An applicant must complete the Impact Texas Teen Drivers ITTD, program if he or she completes a teen driver education course, is issued a certificate of completion, D-964, and takes the driving exam on or after that date. For more information visit the ITTD website, https colon slash slash impacttexasdrivers.dps.texas.gov. Minors. 
If you are less than 18 years of age, your application must be signed, under oath, by the parent or guardian with custody. If there is not a guardian, your employer or county judge may sign the application. The person who signs may ask DPS to cancel your license any time before your 18th birthday. This request must be in writing and sworn to before an officer authorized to administer oaths. In addition, the minor applicant and cosigner must acknowledge receipt of information that explains the zero tolerance law. See Chapter 10, Alcohol and and drugs impact on the driving ability for more information. Examinations Before any exams are given, you must pay the required fee. Your picture will be taken and you will be given a payment receipt. If you do not pass the knowledge and driving exams on your first attempt, your application will be held for 90 days. After 90 days or three failed exams, a new application and fee will be required. The knowledge and driving exams are not required for applicants 18 years of age and older who surrender a valid out-of-state license. After you have passed all applicable exams you will be issued a temporary license, which you may use for 45 days or until you receive your permanent license in the mail. If you do not receive your license in 45 days, contact our customer service center at 512-424-2600 or www.dps.texas.gov slash driver license slash customer underscore service slash part one the knowledge exam as part of the less tears more years act all applicants less than 25 years of age are required to take a driver education course to apply for a driver license upon successful completion of certain courses the person is not required to take the class c knowledge exam also known as the written exam there are three types of knowledge exams one class c knowledge exam for all original applicants 2. Class M, Motorcycle Road Rules for Motorcycle. This exam is also required for all moped license applicants. The exam for all other Class M applicants is waived if you successfully complete a motorcycle operator training course and present proof of completion. 3. Class A or Class B, Rules Exam for operators of Class A and Class B vehicles you need a grade of 70% or better to pass any knowledge exam. Part 2. The Vision Examination. Your vision will be examined when you are at the driver license office. Depending on the results, you may be required to wear corrective lenses while driving if the lenses improve your vision and help increase the safety of your driving. If the results are inconclusive, you may be referred to your doctor. Part 3. The Driving Exam the driving exam is given only after all other exams are passed and evidence of financial responsibility is presented or the vehicle is exempt under the Texas Motor Vehicle Safety Responsibility Act. The type of vehicle used for the driving exam must match the class of license on the application. No one less than 18 years of age is exempt from taking the driving exam. Individuals may take a driving exam at a driver license office or through a third-party skills testing TPST school. The TPST program started September 1, 2014. The program permits certain schools to administer the non-commercial driving exam. Individuals who take and pass the driving exam through an approved TPST school must present the sealed envelope prepared by the TPST school in order for the exam to be waived at the driver license office. Individuals who complete the DPS-approved motorcycle operator training course are not required to take a driving exam for a Class M license if the person already has a valid, unrestricted Texas license. Individuals less than 18 years of age must pass the motorcycle driving exam. Additionally, the driving exam is not required for anyone applying for a learner license. A $10 exam fee is required when changing from a lower to a higher class license or when removing restrictions from a license. The cost of adding a Class M to an existing license is $15. Description of the driving exam During the driving exam, you will not be asked to do anything illegal. You must follow all of the instructions given by the Customer Service Representative CSR. Do not carry on a conversation during the driving exam. If you are not eligible to drive in Texas, a licensed driver must drive the car to the driver license office and exam area. If you are not issued a driver license then the licensed driver should also drive you away from the driver license office.